Hey guys, how's it going? It's Gary here. Lord knows I'm usually going Gary, aka Tuxedo Jericho, but that's for my old channel. <laughs> uh, but today we're going to go over one way of doing custom or getting custom uh, paint jobs for your cars. So the first thing that you have to do is, of course, you have to be an iRacing subscriber. And it also helps to be a member of TradingPaints.com. Now, if you're if you're brand new to iRacing and signing up for um, TradingPaints.com, be aware that it could take uh, up to one day uh, for your uh, iRacing ID to be able to be found. Now, if you need to know how to do that, it's not you go uh, click on the driver or on your helmet icon. Go to account, and then up top it'll say my account, customer ID, and then it'll have the number. Of course, uh, the number I've, um, I'm I did censor out my number and any uh, um, personal identifiable information. But you may be wondering, you know, you may have been on uh, trading paint. You may notice, yeah, it wants you to be. You know, upgrade to pro and that you don't really need to do that um so in iRacing click on my content and there's all the cars that you have of course as you see a lot of them don't have their paint jobs um we're going to look at the monte carlo uh, the Mar uh, the chevrolet monte carlo super sport so click here on paint car and you may be, I don't want to paint it. Uh, just remember over here, if you want to change the style of your number, you can. Um, I have it set for the preferred car of 77, but it'll give me a number. But scroll all the way down to the bottom and you'll see down here, download template. You will click that. It will open it up in the browser and you'll save it. I've already saved it. So, and that's... Um, what you need to do to get that part of it. Now, so far, we're done with iRacing for the most part. So right now, we're going to switch over, over, the, over to uh, Photoshop, which I'm using uh, CS6. But one of the first things I'm going to do now is I'm going to bring over my street stock PSD image. The PSD is the layered image. So you'll see you have, you know, you can do car patterns. I usually don't bother with that. I'd rather make my own. But as you see here, the paintable uh, colors, pillbox colors and that, your main car body is where you can change the color of your car. You know, the base color. This turn off before exporting is just the mask, like the, the hidden parts, the shadows. And you can see where the sponsor stuff would be as well as the numbers. So, first thing I'm going to do is here, you know, car mandatory is just mandatory stuff. What I'm <clears throat> going to do is sort of recreate what I had for the street stock uh, whenever I was doing my rookie class stuff. And... And that so a lot of the stuff that I used, I used uh, sort of Superman the animated series type stuff. So I made it look a little like Superman. Where's everything that I have? There we go. So I'm gonna go ahead and just keep that image there. But now I'm gonna bring in this image of Superman. Now, since it's a JPEG, it's not a transparent, and I didn't want 
you know, the daily planet behind it. I didn't want the building. So one thing to do, and of course this is a little bit of a Photoshop uh, tutorial too, is select a big area that you don't want. Click on the uh, erase tool and click background erase tool. Click once and hit delete. Um, so that whenever you hit the, the delete key, it will do, it'll basically just delete that. So I'm going ahead and removing big sections of stuff so I don't have to go back over a lot. So now you may be thinking, well, how do I get the rest of it? On this, I generally use the magnetic lasso tool and I'll zoom in to the shot. So I'll have that tool active, but I'll click here and then I'll fall, try to follow the shape of what I'm doing. And when I get too far um, removed, I will then, you know, hit the backspace key to remove a few steps. So I'm going down, just basically following Superman's outline. Here we go up for the cape. So right there, I had that, that section covered, and it was fine. So I'm going to go back, change it back to the regular lasso tool, and be very careful on that section. And there, since I've got the rest of that, go ahead and cover. I'm going to go ahead and do that for that section down there. I know that's going to be another trouble section. And it's just because, at times, it doesn't like to grab around um the bottoms or the tops of edges with not easily at least so now i'm going to come back go up through here and basically just follow superman and you see it, w it went off so i just hit backspace to remove and sometimes you'll hear me click and I'm just trying to be sure to set a, a dot there. There we go. Follow Kalel's head. So he's not really wanting to follow his hair all that much. So here we go. Here we are going down the Chin of Doom. And of course, yes, I am using Superman the Animated Series from the 90s as... Or I was using it as my choice for that, for that series. Just because I wanted to do something a little different. What gives me the idea of doing stuff like this is I saw somebody with a uh, TM and... Uh, uh, Ninja Turtles. Uh, uh, theme going on theirs. There was a little bit of a weird spot. There may be a better way of doing this. Getting some of the well crap there we go since I know I've already got all this whoop. there we go then we'll go ahead and get up here and then go back in down here so that that way when I have that selected I can just hit delete and it gets rid of the rest of that now if you're unsure <clears throat> if you've got it all just duplicate your layer go here delete everything but set a solid color a uh, a stark contra uh, contrasting color. So there's black. Close enough for government work. And then. 
uh, just delete that layer. Now you're done with that part. Now you just got to duplicate the layer and put it onto the pattern or the um, <clears throat> the car you're working on. So I'm telling it to go to streetstock.psd. I click OK. So we're going to go back into streetstock.psd. And as you see, it's there. So I'm just going to grab the layer. And you may be going, but it's... Well, you know, you may want it up here, going back that way. I had it more of this mirrored going that way. And, you know, just play around with what you need. And just play around and, and get the setting right. Maybe... So there we go. I forgot I can just hit escape and make it there. So this time, instead of having it, I'm going to close that a little bit. And have Superman here, but with his cape going back that way. There's that, so I've got it there. That's cool. You want it on the other side, just duplicate it. And then move it up to about the section you want. Control T again to free transform, right click, or um, alternate click on mouse, or on a Mac, <coughs> sorry. Rotate 180, and then what I like to do is Oops, I had that. <laughs> Rotate 180. Now, you may see it's going the opposite way. What I like to do here is get it to the edge of the image. Take this till it's there. Grab the other side and bring it back to the edge where it's approximately what it was. So there we go. It's <clears throat> almost the same on both sides. So I'm re configuring that. Now I know it, it's leaking over on the, this side. If you have it leaking over in the section you don't want, just highlight the section, hit delete, uh, so that it's only showing on the section you want. Now, if it were to blend or to bleed over into the uh, to the wheel well, that's perfectly fine. That won't be part of that. Now, you may be thinking, well, that doesn't look that great. You know, it really needs to, uh, you know, have different, you know, more color. Fine. I'm going to use the... This lasso, or the, uh, which one is this? The polyagonal uh, lasso tool. And I'm going to put that to about there. But now I'm selecting the back of the car. So here, like, no, I don't like that size. There we go. That's a little better. I'm not, I'm not selecting as much of the, uh, of the rear end. So now I've got that selected. Well, I want to get it a red color, but I don't want it to be pure red. So I'm going to highlight the, the crimson of Superman's cape, and then I'm just going to apply that. Oops. I realized I was on the wrong layer. Go to car body. Make sure it's the car body. So now Superman... I'm like, eh, maybe I should lighten it up a little bit. Okay. You know what? Make it a little bit more of a red. And apply. Where you can see more of the cape detail. Now that I've got that color that I want there. Come back over here. And try to match it as close as you can. You won't always get it perfect. 
So what I'm doing here is trying to avoid as much of the other bodywork as I can. I want to dump that there. Now, you may be thinking, well, that's better, but, you know, the blue doesn't look right. And I just realized I wasn't as far up. Oh. Yeah, I didn't come in at a steep enough angle, but let's say you noticed that. So I went ahead and undone what I was going to do. I always hate having that on. So I'm going to go back to this one. And I know it's about there. There we go. And my fur, my other, uh, my how to fail at eye racing or how to get banded eye racing videos done. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply that there. And I realized I've made a mistake. So lasso tool. I'm gonna come in and just highlight this area. Since it's going to be there, and then fill that in. So there we go. And fit it back on screen. So it looks more or less the same on both sides. You know what? I could have just done it like this. I didn't realize, I forgot I was going to make the back part of that look the same. Now, one thing I've learned is this section here is the front of is the front of their car. So what I'm gonna do, and I noticed on the original version that I made that I had too much creeping up on the front of the car you know, where it didn't really match up well. So, I'm going to start there, go back into there. Well, or don't take it. There we go. And put in the red there. You know, the, or the maroon, I should say. Now, you may be thinking, but that blue, it, 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 it looks too light for Superman. Yeah, it is. What I'm going to do is replace color. And I'm going to pick that blue. There, and I've matched it up more or less to what the color of his blue would be. So now, let me bring in this, the, the Superman chevron, or the, the symbol. So I'm going to go ahead and put it on street stock. I already know I want this pretty much on the hood. But I know I'm going to want it to... Um, on the rear of the car. Oh, no. Actually, no. I, want it, I didn't want it there. That's right. Let me turn on the sponsor blocks. And I'm going to... I'm going to... Get that down. And I'm going to put it over here where this one goes. So 
info. I forgot I had another image. Where is it? There we go. Oh, I think I've already got it open. There we go. But notice how it looks like it's got a transparent background here. It's not a real transparent background. They didn't actually make it transparent. So one thing I do, if you have a lot of area like this that's open, click the magic wand tool. You know, make sure it's on. Cancel. Don't crop. Fuck you. <laughs> Uh, there you have the quick sel quick selection tool or the magic wand. So I use the magic wand. Go back over here, cl clear out a small area with the background eraser tool, and hit that. And I know that's a transparent background. Sometimes, like if I went to uh, copy paste it, it would look weird. So here we go. I'm now I'm duplicating this, putting it um, on the car I pretty much want it you know the the letters to end with the hood so there we go now I've got that pretty much that Let's say that's all I wanted on that. I'm like, cool, I'm happy. Well, if I were to um, to layer this image, you would see, like if I still had the sponsors and the, and the numbers to see where the numbers would be, it would uh, appear there. So what you do is on this red section here, where it says turn off before exporting, turn that off. And this is what gets applied, you know, to the skin of the car. So go up to layer, merge visible. And then just for simplicity's sake to make sure nothing wonky happens, I click and drag and put it up top. Um, let me show you the click path file, save as or alt FS or what is the shortcut key? I do Alt F and then S because I know that, or Shift con Shift Control S. Now what I do is I go to I have output schemes, change it from Photoshop to PNG, which is one of the things, and then there's Superman Street Stock. So I would click and save. I'm not gonna save it as I've already got it saved. So, there, you've saved it. Now, we go over to the Trading Paints website. Now, if you're um, going to uh, make one available for the public, uh, apply it for yourself first. Go out and, and then in iRacing, take some photos of it uh, and save those screenshots so that you have images to post. So you'll click here on the upload tool and you'll choose the paint file. And you have to browse to where it's at. There's the street stock. Now community means that you can upload it uh, for other cars or just me. And then you have to go down here and select the vehicle. So there's street stock. And then upload to my paints. If you choose the wrong car, it's not the end of the world because it'll come up here and show this preview but just make sure that it matches up because some of the cars may have a different body style so you may have stuff mismatch and if you got stuff in the wrong place just whoops I did the wrong thing remove custom paint it'll take it off of that car and then go back and re-upload uh, but if you're um, uploading for you know community you have to select the vehicle description, tell it what the car number. If you want the sim, the sim to stamp it, as well, or the um, custom font number, and that. But it says pictures include some screenshots of your paint for the showroom listing. Just have it up for yourself. Then go into a test race. You know, test drive your car, 
and um, get some screenshots of your car there and then upload them uh, with that and that'll change it. Uh, the only difference with custom paint number and this is if you want to put in a custom number but it doesn't mean that you're going to have that number in a race. You could have the number three GM Goodwrench Chevrolet but your car number in the game even though it's showing three on your door your number of the game could be uh, number four, number 88, number 99, whatever. So I always go with SIM stamp numbers because I don't really care if it gives me that. So, yeah, but then once you select the vehicle, save and that. Um, so if you click here on my paints, let me leave the page. Let's see. I'm from my NASCAR Ford Mustang. There's the replay mode car, which is ba um, based on my friends from the replay mode with um, Ghost Soul uh, from Twitch as that, and it says Pit Here Moron. So we're going to look at the Gander Outdoors Toyota Tundra, and I made a uh, the King of Random paint scheme for that um, street stock of course is Superman uh, where is it Chevrolet Monte Carlo Super Sport I think I uploaded it yeah I made a uh, Batman the animated series Justice League Batman but really minor minor difference <laughs> but there's that card that I'll be running um, in that series uh, where's my MX where's my Mazda there's my global Mazda MX-5 cup I'm probably gonna crash because well it's me <laughs> but you can do that and then you can see them um, and that so you don't need on um, trading paints to go pro, you know, because it's 20, 24 bucks a year, which isn't bad, and, you know, I'm, and then you can do it from your browser, and that, um, you know, layer decals, assign special nighttime paints, or, you know, just, if you've got a photo um, editor, um, I, I believe even some of the free ones like GIMP um, allow you to do that type of stuff in it for free. Um, but if you don't want to bother with that and like, oh, I don't know, I'd rather just do it in the thing. Now, I don't know if you can add in a lot of uh, custom uh, designs or if you have to use what's based in their, you know, in their program. Uh, let me view that image. It does give you things like seeing the rear spoiler low, you know, but it doesn't look like it gives, I can't tell if it gives you, um, a lot of the option to put in custom stuff. So, I mean, if anybody has, uh, trading paints pro go for that. Uh, the great thing with t with trading paints is whenever you have the app open, it, I just have it set in the, um, it's right there as I'm moving around. Um, I just have it set on the, um, in the, in the uh, tool tray, you know, have it start it set up. And if I have new stuff, it then pulls in the paint scheme into iRacing for whenever I go. That's it. That's how you can do a customized paint scheme with iRacing. Um, once you get more used to using um, photo editors like um,
you know, photo editors, and you learn what they can and can't do, you know, it becomes easy. Now, if you, I, your only limitation is how creative you want to be and how much you want stuff to match up. I mean, this right here, I could get this to match up and it'd be perfect on the car. Like I said, this is about what I had before, but on the front, you know, where I had the cape coming in, it was more like up here on the fender instead of down where it will, you know, matching up down here. Small issue, of course, I didn't see it till I was in the, you know, racing and at that point, I just didn't care. Anyway, guys, that's going to do it for the day. I hope this video can serve you well. I know it's a little long, a little long-winded at times, but I would rather do something and give you more information, more information than you really need, uh, and show you um, a lot of the details on stuff. And, you know, with seeing me screw up <laughs> like I did um, uh, there with some of the layers before and, you know, do like a little mock Photoshop tutorial then just go and get the you know hit the highlights yeah I know it could be a lot I know it's going to be a chore to watch but I'm hoping that this video can at least give you an understanding of the basics of this type of stuff and that anyway guys peace out and take care